when we first boot up, uh, we need to enable the application from anywhere instead of um, Apple only. So we need to get the command. So when we get that done, allow from everywhere, we need to uh, install the text for Ethernet and Voodoo HDA, the version 2.9.0D. And every time we install the CAX, we should also update the cache and the system cache so that uh, everything should work right away without rebooting it. So this one is to allow all the CAX to load. So now you can see the sound that is working from Voodoo. And also the Ethernet uh, is working too, so we can access the Internet. Okay, for the energy saver, make sure we undo this. So it won't uh, go to sleep. It may have kernel panic. I OK, so we're going to patch this one. So now we're going to patch this one with the Wi-Fi 36. So DW seventeen oh seven. So actually, all we need to do is change this one to thirty six. Okay, that's the ID number. Okay, that's it. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna install it. So every time we install Kex, we should run this sudo type system library extension and sudo kex cache uh, minus u forward slash. Okay. Okay, so we have to redo it again. Okay, do it again. Okay. Now, at the same time, we need to make sure we check the IO registry. Make sure EN0 is the. There's no EN0. Ah, so EN1. So we don't want the Ethernet to be EN1. So what we're going to do is this. Always check. So we got to clean it up. So we go to Library Preferences. And then we're going to go to the System Configuration. We're going to delete all of this. Okay.
complete. Load this trash. So the next time when we boot, it will go into uh, EN0 should be uh, the Ethernet. Okay, let's reboot. Okay, so after reboot everything. Okay, so EN0 now is the Ethernet, so that's good. So we don't have any Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is not working. So make sure we have the ignore NVRAM boot is false. So it will remember the setting. Now we can restore the Sierra 126 to their internal hard drive because everything seems to be working. So I'm going to show how to restore the Sierra 126 to the internal Dell 126 partition. So we go to utility and we go to this utility. We're going to move it out here. So now what we need to do is to go to Dell, the one that we shrank before, okay, from the Windows. So we're going to do restore, click restore, and restore from what? Restore from Dell 126, and then we'll, we'll click restore. Okay, so after restore to Dell 126, uh, let's check everything. Okay, so EN0 is still there. Need to check and see if the Bluetooth is working. Yep, it's, it's the Bluetooth now. Good. Let's see. Okay, so all the Bluetooth is working. Uh, I'm using the uh, Bluetooth headphone right now. So we need to download Clover. So now we're going to install, okay? So what you want to do is to install UEFI. UEFI. Alright. So, we don't really need all of this stuff, but um, uh, we're going to use ours anyhow, so install whatever we need, just that, that's good enough, because we're going to copy whatever we have. It should mount the ESP folder. Okay, so we mount the ESP and we can open it up. And we're going to open this. And Clover is in here, right? And Dell's in here, Microsoft is in here. So what we do is go Clover. What we're going to do is go to copy everything that we've been using before. Rename this one. It's old going to drag this whole thing over and 
Now, text, forget all that. We use this one like text zero. And then we take all the text that we have in here and we we'll go here. Okay. So all we need is this one and the CAX and ACPI. So this patch here has nothing. So we take our stuff and it's in an A copy and then paste. We're going to get our config copy and then we're going to put on our config here so this is org so I'm going to paste okay so now themes we have that do we have theme in here so we have ACPI we have drivers, we have all that. This is the one that we need that's working, okay? So the CAX, this one is also the one that works. So now we want it to boot. Then we're going to have to change this one. Minus OR region. Now this one should, now when we reboot, it should go straight into the Clover. In the ESP, e UEFI, we have Clover. All right. And we also have Dale. And we have Microsoft. All right. So let's see if it boot. So it should go straight into Clover. All right. So it boots straight into Clover, and it go to Dell. Perfect. Okay.